How can you edit AI designs within Canva using Magic Studio? So if you've used AI to generate images for covers for KDP or also other designs that you might be using for things like merch, you might have noticed that they can often contain errors. It's got much, much better and it continues to get better, but often you might find an image you really, really love, but it's just it got a small error and that might be a spelling mistake or some other errors. And maybe you don't have experience with editing software, but there is a way that you can correct some issues quite easily using Canva. Prior to Magic Studio, there were very limited options as far as erasing or editing your designs within Canva. The only eraser tool that existed was only available if you removed the background of an image. And it's not like a typical editing software where you can simply use an eraser tool, such as if you were using Affinity Designer or similar, at least not yet. But with the addition of Magic Studio, it has made things a lot easier to edit your designs within Canva itself. So my favorite tool currently in Magic Studio is the Magic Eraser tool. This tool allows you to delete text or elements within your design and still maintain the background behind it. It doesn't always work 100%, but when it does work, it is really helpful. So I'll just show you quickly how to use the Magic Eraser in the case of this image. Obviously, there isn't much going on here, so this is quite a good one to do. If you have too much going on in the background, sometimes the Magic Eraser can just cause a bit of a blurry mess. So the simpler, the better, really. What you need to do is click on the image and go to Edit Photo. And then you come up with the Magic Studio tools here. And then you want to go to Magic Eraser. Then it will take your book back to whatever the original image was. So obviously we've cropped this and everything since being within Canva. But as soon as you've done the edit, it will go back to the way that it was. So you can change the brush size here. Even though this is the only real issue, I'm just going to delete the whole text just so you can see what it's like. Often you might have to go over things more than once, usually only two or three times max. And then you just keep going until all of the text is gone. And then once all the text is gone, you can just go ahead and put your own text on there. You can upload any fonts direct from Creative Fabrica to Canva. And that's what I tend to do all the time. So this one's called Kawaii Stitch. And I think this one is yeah little toy. And then this is just a shape that I just put in the background just for a bit of added color. And that's pretty much how you use the Magic Eraser tool. Obviously you could do it to try and erase different elements like these leaves, for example. And because there's only the blue in the background, that would probably work quite well. Another extremely useful feature is the text grab tool. So with this feature, you can grab the text within an image in isolation, and then you can simply delete it and that will maintain the background behind. Again, it doesn't always work with 100% accuracy, but it seems to work most of the time for me right now. And it's very useful in deleting text that, for example, has spelling errors or is just gobbledygook, as is commonly the case with mid-journey text right now, although it is getting better. So I'm going to show you now how to use the text grab tool. You would just click on the image, go to edit photo, go to grab text. And in this case, it's grabbed most of the text there. Now what you would need to do is just go into magic eraser again, and then just erase anything that's left. Obviously you could just go to magic eraser originally and delete it straight from there if you wanted to. This just speeds it up a little bit. And sometimes it will grab all the text as well, so you won't need to go in and edit it. So in this case, it's actually grabbed all the text as you can see, and you can actually edit this. So I could put sloth, whatever, it's actually come up with the same kind of text, the same font even, but I'm just gonna delete it. There is also the Magic Expander tool. This uses AI to expand your design. This can be useful for expanding a front cover in order to create a back cover, for example. And while the results are not usually perfect, they are sufficient, and especially if you're adding other elements to the back cover anyway, such as a blurb or some other images. And you can continue to keep generating more suggestions and more images if the first lot of suggestions don't really work for you. So again, just go to edit photo and then you go to magic expand. We're going to do the whole page. So it will typically come up with some random ones like this. <laughs> all this, all this, but this one oh, still not great. So you can generate new results. And as it says here, images with faces, hands or transparent backgrounds may not work well 
when expanding. So obviously this does have faces and hands. This one is a, a bit better. Anyway, you get the idea, you can keep generating it. So this is better, but I'd probably edit this. You could probably do the magic eraser tool and, and just edit some of these bits out and then that would be okay. So whenever you've chosen something you're happy with, you just click done and you can go back to your page. And then obviously when you have other bits on the back of your book as well, that's going to take up most of this space anyway. There's also the magic grab tool and this allows you to grab elements inside the design and actually move them around or simply delete them. I haven't had that much luck with this one personally yet, but let me know if it works for you. So when it comes to the magic grab tool, it seems like the simpler the image, the more likely you're going to have success with it. So if you've got a lot of busy things, lots of elements, then it may not work. So you just go to edit photo and then you'd go to magic grab. I've already done this, so I can show you that this hedgehog now moves around, which it was stuck there before. So you could turn it around, for example. And this would be good if you were doing a storybook or something where you wanted the same background. But when I've tried it with other more complicated things, such as this, it would be good if you could grab these individual elements and move them but it's actually grabbed the the whole image apart from the background um so obviously i can use this skyline put some other elements on there but i can't actually individually move things like the bench or the trees over time they will improve there's also the magic edit tool again i haven't used this one that much but you can use it to replace elements within your design with others created with ai so maybe you want to replace an object in a character's hand for example or perhaps there's a bird in the sky of your design and you want to change it to a butterfly and that kind of thing so as an example of the magic edit you would go to obviously edit photo magic edit go over the thing that you want to change and then you actually describe what you want so in this case we're changing the moon to a sun we don't know why because it's night time so that's what we're going to do change the moon into a sun here it's come up with some different suns that it thinks would fit the picture and obviously you can generate new results let's try and change something here so remember, it always goes back to the original image after you're finished. So we're just going to go over this leaf. So we're going to try and change it into a butterfly. And here it's created a few different butterflies. So let me know in the comments whether you use AI at all for designing your covers or other designs and what program you use for doing this, whether it's Midjourney or Dali 3 or another AI tool. And also, what do you use to edit and upscale your images? So that's going to be all for today, but thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week, and I will speak to you again very soon.